Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here in Chicago at SMT AI and I'm joined by Rod Howell from Libra Industries. Rod, great to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Good afternoon, Philip. How's everything going and what have you been doing here at the show this week? Well, business has been good. Uh, we've been growing uh, both at our uh, Dallas facility and our Cleveland facility. Uh, in fact, I'm proud to say that both facilities are exhibiting double-digit growth this year. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, as far as the show goes, uh, this is a, a traditional show that we attend every year. Uh, I think we have five or six people here this year. Okay. Uh, we do a lot of the education and training, so a number of our people are in classes as we speak. And then, you know, I, I and several of the other people just look around to see what's new, uh, obviously stay in touch with the vendors that we're already dealing with. and. Um, yeah, a lot of Stay it. acquainted with old friends. Yeah, well, that's always nice, isn't it? And the show's got a reputation of having a really strong workshop, education, and conference track. Correct. Is that something you, you've always found here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is, uh, I would say the, you know, I, I don't want to pan the show because the show's important. That's obviously the vendors are the, the guys that pay the bills, and they're extremely important. But um, we use it mainly for the technical conferences. Uh, it's, it's a great venue for us to send our people to get additional education to stay up on top of the technology. Yeah, I think that's important. I always say to people, if you're, if you're going to exhibit here, put a paper in because that's where you're going to, Absolutely. That's where you're going to get the traction. Double-digit growth in two factories, that's impressive. What do you put that down to? What, what do you, without giving too Other much away, what's work? your... Well, obviously hard work <laughs> is key. Uh, well, we, we have obviously um, great resources at the factory, great technology, quality, uh, service, things like that. Uh, uh, we've been expanding our sales force, so we go to market with a combination of reps and direct people. Uh, Tom Dykeman's our VP of uh, sales and marketing. He's done a wonderful job. And I think that um, in addition to adding new customers, we're seeing a lot of our traditional historical customers' business get stronger. Their business is growing, so we're growing through their success. Yeah, you grow with them. And is there is there much going on in terms of change of what they're demanding? And you know, we talk a lot about smart factory within the industry, but are there are the OEMs and the brands that you're dealing with demanding that level of visibility, that level of information from you? Not necessarily, although uh, you know we have added a lot of business analytics uh, into our uh, ecosystem, as you might say lately and uh, that's helped us manage our factories better so we've gotten a lot smarter about what we're doing uh, we now have instant access to information that historically you know we would have to run reports and queries and things like that so uh, between the the data warehouse we have the analytics and the dashboarding tools um, we can make quicker smarter decisions uh, the other thing that's driving our growth is you know I mentioned some of our traditional customers we're, we're kind of climbing up the, the food chain, so to speak, in that we're doing a, a lot more box build, sub-assembly, and, and in some cases, complete box build and product assembly. So you're, you're taking the same customer base that you might have done X with before, and now you're doing maybe 2X yeah. with that same customer. Yeah, and that's, you know, that, that adds some resources to you in terms of skill set and opens up opportunities with new customers as well, I guess. But so going forward, more, more double-digit growth, expansion, what do, you, what do you see as the next big step for Libra? So we're, yeah, obviously we're going to continue to grow. Uh, we're going to continue to look at acquisitions. You know, we've made some very successful acquisitions over the years and, um, you know, been able to blend in some very good companies under the, the Libra portfolio. So we're going to continue to do that and uh, look to service new geographic territories. Okay, well, it sounds excellent. And, you know, the key to good acquisition is just is not just spotting them, it's the integration process, and you seem to have done that very, very well. That's where all the heavy lifting is, obviously. Yeah. Rod, thanks for stopping by, thanks for chatting, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank good. you. Thank you. Appreciate it.